Hamtech, welcome to my channel, playing around with Dire Wolf. I'm just going to show you a real basic thing that I did here with the Universal Radio Controller on my UVK5. So once you go to the left window here, download the zip, and I extracted it into a folder. Okay, now in that folder, you've got these files here. Now the one that runs Dire Wolf is called, let's find it. Dire Wolf here. So you run it and you get this window and I've got certain things selected. How do you select them? And then this is brand new to me and I'll show you how I did it. You go to a file called Dire Wolf Conf. Right click it and on Windows I put Edit with Notepad. Okay and this is the parameters that I just quickly edited after watching a video really uh, to, to select my audio. So there are other devices that I need to, you know, change. Actually, I was told to change this one here, a device. I don't know what the high means. I'm sure someone will tell me, but I will delete that little hash now. And any changes you make, you have to save. But anyway, see the way it says two and three here. Where did I get that figure from? I'll just go save a minute, file, save. And I removed the hash in front of a device two three so I'm not sure about the hash but look there's lots of hashes you need to change I saw one there for USB do I remove that you know although I I can tell that it's my computer is receiving it so we just close it now and then we want to reopen the the window this one here we're going to reopen it because you know we've changed parameters so I'll close it down then I'll double click and go to and please send me tips but keep the tips simple because if they're complicated I'm not going to get it so you can see here that number two I've selected as microphone and number three and those were the numbers that I used and if I just get my device to I've already showed you I'll show you more in the video if I just quickly do it now before I because I'm switching cameras here go hit the menu and do beacon TX With a bit of luck, it should show up. No, it decided not to show up now, but just now it was. Watch the rest of the video that I make because it was working then. Uh, but um, yeah, having fun learning. Lots, to, a lot to learn. Bye for now. Seven three, and watch the rest of it. You saw how we just quickly changed a couple of parameters, so we can just do this quick test. Universal radio controller. It basically changes your twin pin connectors and there is a, a smaller version of this i've got the super version here uh, into a usb out which you can then plug into your pc and we're using dire wolf which has been around for years but i'm i'm just learning now and i thought the first thing i'll do is just see if i get it to transmit and show up on my on the dire wolf software on my pc which i quickly configured it what I, the way i showed you i'm just going to show you that it has worked so we turn on aprs on your ft5 just go into the hold down the menu and after putting in your call sign etc you've just got to turn on modem menu 4 so if, if i just press transmit of course this is on 144800 we've got the twin pins going out and on the left it's the 2.5 and on the right it's the 3.5 and at the back of this there's a usb cable going into my pc and you can load the firmware of your uk5 on this you can run the quashang dock you can program your channels this little box does it all um you, of course i left it loud so we can hear everything so um let's just uh quickly just press tx so all you do is just go brief press and then beacon tx and you'll see that my koshang received it and then i'll show you what's being received on my pc so this is my PC and you can see that's what it's receiving. I put an external antenna on there hoping it would get some more but not really happening. The See the stars here, that's what you've selected, what I selected in the comp section. We'll show, you saw that at the beginning but lots more to learn. Thanks for watching.